So, hi again, I'm back. Wartig here with a update since uh, last time. This is uh, the Predator tank I was uh, painting up for a friend and his Imperial Fist army. Tried to do some uh, weathering uh, and uh, some uh, decal work uh, inspired by uh, Orc Painter Nerd. Um, didn't come out exactly as I wanted it, but uh, it was a, a good uh, learning experience. Uh, and uh, my friend is quite uh, pleased anyway. It's uh, uh, a couple of steps better than uh, he can paint for himself. So, yeah, it will do in in a game anyways. Better than uh, having a non-painted army. So, uh, this is the short little roundabout. One thing I I, I like the uh, I like the look of this uh, old style uh, uh, predator. Uh, one thing I don't like is there's not much blank surface for for decoration or or uh, such uh, things with all the rivets and stuff going on. Uh, but I think it will add a, a, a nice uh, and a unique touch to his army. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, how it turned out. The other figure I was painting up for him was uh, the Black Reach uh, Dreadnought. As you can see here, I'll try to bring it up a bit closer. There we go. Um, tried the uh, weathering. This was the second miniature I, I painted. I painted the tank first. As you can see, I tried the uh, uh, rather continued on with the, the shipping and weathering on this. And I think this uh, turned out a bit uh, better. Um, I uh, did a little bit uh, more thinking about uh, where I wanted to put the uh, wear and tear, and, and uh, focused mainly on the edges of the of the miniature. A bit of uh, pure seal there on this uh, multi melt arm. Tried out the new Vallejo, or new, but new for me anyway. Uh, Vallejo metal paints, and I must say that uh, I like them very much, much more than the uh, Games Workshop equivalent. Uh, got some uh, orc skull and uh, iron gob down here, rusted up on the base. Uh, some field grass. Um, used some pigments on on the base as well as the feet. Turned about, turned out a little more. Mudder than I thought from the start, but uh, yeah, I think he, he was satisfied with it, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Bit of an Aquila there, and or Aquila or Aquila or however it's pronounced. Whether the power fist uh, with metal, uh, it's supposed to say Ario uh, down uh, there. Uh, if I if I'm correct, it's uh, it translates something like uh, something like a uh, war, like uh, in Latin, or uh, was it even uh, Spanish? I forget. Uh, anyway, got some decals on this. Uh, I'm trying to bring it up a bit, uh, like that. Yeah, focus then. Uh, yeah, some decals on this leg as well. Imperatus uh, on this side. And uh, Mortis on uh, that side. Uh, some spent casings. Some more grass. Water. Uh, pretty much the only thing uh, left on these uh, models now are to uh, go over it with some um, gloss varnish uh, over the water effect. Uh, uh, the lenses and uh, such uh, things to make them uh, shine again. Use the uh, Army Painter uh, Super Matte uh, varnish uh, to dull down the model, and uh, yeah, it really dulled it down a lot. So, I'm gonna have to go with those points with some some gloss varnish to bring them up again. But uh, then they are finished. So uh, yeah, that's how they turned out. Any feedback is welcome. Uh, gonna keep on working on my weathering stuff. Uh, my plan is to. Uh, experiment with the weathering a bit uh, primarily on my orcs uh, and before I turn to my Imperial Guard because the, uh, I have a lot of tanks for the Imperial Guard and I really like the weathering to come out uh, nice on them. 
Anyways, uh, next project is not Imperial Guard, it's uh, these guys. They don't look like much right now, just uh, made a little base coat on them uh, for now. Uh, f space Wolves, yeah. I'm going for a very dark uh, color scheme, uh, more rem remin reminiscent. I can't even speak anymore. Uh, looking more like the, the cover of the new codex, the dark, dark grey, and uh, with some uh, nice gold and uh, red uh, highlighting the paint scheme. So, uh, first project is a grey hunter squad. It's, uh, these guys. Uh, I'm gonna paint them up. I always like to try and do the troops uh, portion of the uh, army first, then go on in uh, to the more fun stuff. Next uh, thing I'm gonna paint up is a probably a 15 man uh, blood claw squad. As you can see, uh, many of the models have a little bit of a chaos touch to them. Uh, that's going to be explained in the background to my army uh, uh, to make the short uh, version of it uh, they have been away fighting um, more or less uh, trapped uh, not in the warp but uh, trapped from uh, getting home to resupply and have been forced to um, use uh, anything they can salvage to keep up their fighting strength so a little bit like the 13th company. Uh, several of the figures I'm, I'm using, I'm uh, gonna use for this army, is actually my old 13th company figures that I'm gonna refurbish. Uh, also, the blood clothes and uh, some other uh, models uh, are using the metal bodies, the old uh, uh, space wool metal bodies. As you can see, they are a bit smaller than the the new marines, but it's not uh, that significant. Uh, it's very hard to tell on this uh, this shot, but uh, maybe you can see that f uh, the legs, for example, are uh, more uh, fine limb uh, limbed on the old models, and more they are larger and more bulky the new ones. So I'm using the older models with the metal bodies for blood clothes and the. Uh, uh, the newer plastic uh, kits for uh, grey hunters and uh, such. So, I really, really like these uh, old models, I must say. Uh, some models uh, pointing out that there wasn't much uh, difference between uh, regular Space Wolves and uh, Space Marines back then, but uh, yeah, they got some uh, wolf tail talismans, uh, rune stones. I think they are plenty of stuff uh, without going overboard uh, like I think they have done with some of the <coughs> some of the sculpts in the new kit uh, runes are fun and uh, looks uh, very good but when you cover a whole power arm in runes just looks uh, stupid to be honest uh, and as always I'm getting rid of the stupid haircuts um, not gonna have any uh, mohawks or uh, such uh, nonsense uh, so, looking forward to sculpting some uh, hair and beards and stuff for my uh, Wolfguard uh, models. <coughs> Going to incorporate uh, quite a few of the old metal uh, models as well. Uh, the old range uh, Space Wolves uh, metal models. I have quite a few of those. So, yeah. Uh, that's gonna happen in the uh, coming weeks. Uh, hoping to get a video up in about uh, uh, yeah to be a realistic about two weeks time with some updates on the uh, Grey Hunters. Uh, so uh, see you then and uh, good gaming.